Peoples, 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 what's going on? I am Finesse, and today we're here in the Finesse Garage because we're gonna be installing handlebars on the 2023 Indian Motorcycle Pursuit Elite. All right, people, if you are installing these bars on a 2023 Pursuit, it doesn't matter which version of the model you have, they're all gonna be the same. So the entire Pursuit series, this is gonna be the exact process that you're gonna go through in order to get the, the original bars off and the new bars on. Um, this also applies to any set of bars. Uh, however, the bars that we're gonna be putting on today are the new Folsom Prison Series bars from Tab Performance. These bars come with a black finish and they also are offered in three different sizes. You have a four inch, a six inch, and an eight inch. Uh, for today's demonstration, we're gonna be using that middle tier, which is the six inch. Uh, and I'll show you guys the process of getting through that. All right, peoples, let's take a look at these bars. All right, so uh, they come very nicely packaged. On the end of the bar, they have like this rubber cap to uh, protect your edges there, so everything's gonna be nice and ready for you to, uh, ready for you to go, no sharp edges or anything like that from nicks or scratches. Uh, the powder coat job is really, really nice. Looks OEM. Um, and, and it's all the way through, man. Like this is a very beautiful, beautiful job. You don't see any like weld marks or anything like that. Everything's been smoothed out and powder coated nicely. Uh, with the kit, you're gonna get, well, it's kit. With the handlebars, you're gonna get this uh, tool here. Uh, it's like a braided line. It's gonna allow you to feed the wires from this opening right here uh, through the bars all the way to the end so that you can attach your controls on both sides um, and then it also comes with these o-rings uh, the reason they provide these o-rings to you is because the interior sizing of these bars is just gonna it's gonna be a little larger than what you have on your uh, pursuit stock so you're gonna need these grommets um, or o-rings so you, you it is a must that you replace these o-rings uh, with replace the factory o-rings with these o-rings saying o-rings is just crazy <laughs> and of course you're going to get a tab performance sticker um so that's enough looking at the bars man let's get this process started First off, we're gonna take off this front fairing. You're gonna start with the headlight. We're gonna take this bezel out using a uh, plastic pry tool. You just press down and then pull out and it'll release those clips. Inside, you're gonna have three bolts uh, that you're gonna need a hex key for. So you're gonna have one on either side of the light and then one at the top. So we're gonna start by taking out these two on the sides. All right, and once you're complete with that, there's gonna be that third one that's left up there, but you're gonna to wanna to keep that in there because as you release these other bolts, you know, you don't want the fairing to fall out. That one bolt is gonna hold that fairing in. Uh, and then you're gonna come around the backside and you're gonna remove the speaker cover as well as the plastic pocket that's on the inside of the fairing. So just like we did with the headlight, we're gonna use our pry tool. We're gonna to get that speaker cover off or speaker bezel, get that uh, removed. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to come back, we're going to move that pocket. So this side is going to have your USB cord in there. So make sure you uh, pull that out as well. And then do the same thing on the other side. Obviously there's no cord. So you're going to have one screw up top here. You're going to have another screw in the pocket. And then you're going to have another screw up underneath the fairing, which we'll get to here in a second. I'm just getting these other ones off on the other side. But uh, the, third crew, the third screw is kind of at an angle down there. You can kind of see where the tool is at. Um, and it is a different size than those other ones. So it's the same size as the one that's on the headlight. So just something to be aware of. Uh, but you're gonna take that out as well as uh, the one on the other side. All right, and then once you have that done, you can remove that screw that we left up in the front. Go ahead and take that out. And, uh, you're gonna gently remove the front fairing. Uh, keep in mind the headlight is still attached, 
So there's gonna be, uh, well, the headlights and the turn signal. So there's gonna be three wires in there that you need to remove off that fairing. Uh, once you get that fairing out, then you're gonna trace the wires from the handlebars and unplug them. Uh, once you do that, you're just gonna leave it hanging down. Uh, after that, you're gonna move on up to the controls. You've got two hex keys holding in your uh, levers. So for the brake one, you're gonna have to run that up to the top because you don't want that to go down. Um, I wrapped it with a towel, but really you need to secure that with a zip tie, which will come, uh, which you'll see later. <laughs> All right, so here I'm just removing the screws that are holding the controls together. So there's two on the outside for the housing and then two on the inside for the actual electronics. After that, you're gonna unplug all those and your throttle removes nice and easy. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. However, this side on the brake, there is a wire that's connected to the housing. So make sure you disconnect that and then you can just let that hang. You know, we don't have to worry about that too much. All right. So uh, as you know, when taking off bars, that left side, the glue is just absolutely ridiculous. Man, I don't know what they, I don't know what kind of glue they were using for that, but that glue is serious. However, for the pursuits for the 2023, now I'm not sure if this applies to the challengers or not because I haven't looked, but there is a small hex screw under the side, underneath this left side handle, which I'm about to show you. Super convenient. All you do is unscrew it, and then right after that, see, there it is right there. You unscrew it, and after that, the grip just slides right off. There's no glue. Man, I love it. All right, now we are ready to get the uh, handlebars off. So these are the two screws attaching the handlebars to the triple tree. You're gonna get those out. And like I said earlier, that's why you wanna zip tie that uh, rear view mirror, which we just did right there. <laughs> uh, after, you, after that, um, we're gonna take the seat off here. Uh, and you don't have to take the seat completely off. You just need to get it to where you can maneuver the, the tank around a little bit. Uh, if you have a helper, that's fantastic. Uh, Robert Simmons was trying to get some help in throughout this whole process. <laughs> so anyway, you're gonna take those two bolts off that are secure in the tank. Uh, once you do that, you're gonna slide the tank back a little bit, and that's gonna make it to where you can get those handlebars out. So slid back, we've got the towel protecting the paint, and then you're just gonna turn them and then slip them out, easy. All right, with the bars off, uh, I'm looking at the clamp that holds the bars to the triple tree. It only goes on one way. That top side with the opening is going to correlate with the opening on the bars. And each sides of these uh, of the clamp, one has a screw side and one has just the flat side. And the same thing on the bottom. So once you orient it, it's not going to be, um, you know, you don't have to do any guesswork. You're going to line that notch with the notch that's on the clamp. And then you're gonna put the threaded side with the non-threaded side of the clamp. So the bottom thread with the non-thread on the top and vice versa. And that's essentially how you're gonna connect those. So no way to make a mistake. So now we got the bar, I got the clamp on the bars. We're gonna bring this through for a test fit uh, to get the positioning right. So I uh, tied, or I, I screwed them down, but I didn't screw it down to where you couldn't move the bars within the clamp, but it's still a little bit tough. As you see right here, Robert Simmons has a slight bend in his arm, which is gonna be very comfortable when he rides this bike. And also the bars have about a two inch range of where they can move up or down. Now uh, I'm gonna be removing the weight from the stock handlebars. Uh, it has a bit of grease on it, so you know it's gonna be kind of slippery. Uh, as you can see. <laughs> so uh, removing the O-rings, not a big problem, uh, but remember we're gonna have to do that because the kit requires you to use the new O-rings that come with the kit. Um, so uh, those O-rings are a bit smaller, uh, albeit a bit thicker than the ones that are on there, uh, but it really was a bit of a struggle uh, one, because of the grease, and two, because they were, you know, they, it was so tight. So um, I was going through a few different types of tools before I actually found what I needed to get it on. <laughs> uh, I essentially held it with uh, uh, my Leatherman there on one side, and then I got a pair of tweezers to hold it on the other side. 
Um, so there, there has to be some kind of tool out there to make this easier. I know there is, there just has to be. <laughs> uh, but I eventually get those on and get the, uh, get the uh, O-rings down, uh, down the weight. All right, now uh, we're gonna take the weight and put it inside the bar. So it's gonna be a little tight fit because of those uh, O-rings. So I just wrapped the towel around a, um, a wedge that I had and, and kind of hammered them in. All right, now, here we go. So one of, one of the things that, even though these bars look really good, it sometimes can be difficult to get the get the wires through that 90 degree bend. It's not even 90, it's probably like an 80, 85 degree bend, 84, 80 something degree bend. Um, and there's all sorts of different ways to do it. I've heard compressed air, I've heard um, magnets, you know, all kinds of things. Uh, but what eventually ended up happening is, is I took a piece of yarn and attached a small washer to it and then just dropped it down in there until I could get it around that, you know, and shake the bars until I get it around there. So this actually took so long that the, the camera cut off on me. <laughs> I probably spent a good, you know, 45 minutes to an hour trying to get, uh, trying to do all sorts of types of solutions to get uh, these wires through here. But uh, the yarn with the washer and then just kind of shaking and moving the bars around actually helped out quite a bit. Um, so no need to uh, suffer through any more of this. Let's, let's move on. All right, so we've got the wires run through the handlebars. You got your throttle side over here, clutch side over here. Um, and we got the main harness running through the middle. So you're gonna wanna feed this uh, over the triple tree through the front. And then uh, we've got these bolts tightened down. We already did a test fit to make sure everything was fitting like it needed to. Uh, and then once we get inside, we're gonna do another check um, and if we need to make any adjustments, we're just going to make the adjustments on these top two screws and we got the back screws already uh, done in. All right, we got the bike back together. Well, not completely, but we got the bar secured. Robert Simmons got the position that he liked, even though you can't see it on his face, man. He looks, he, he is really excited about these bars. Uh, they look good, they perform good, and uh, if you're coming over from his channel, you already know what he thinks about it, uh, but I think they look really good. Uh, I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to get it for myself, so we'll, we'll see what happens here in the near future. <laughs> uh, anyways, man, I appreciate you guys checking the video out, and like always, man, ride every day, and most importantly, make sure you're enjoying it. Peace.